Hello, now I'm gonna show you in a set of videos how to do refactorings. And um, <coughs> so the main idea about refactorings is that um, you keep changing the code, you define sm small steps, and you keep uh, uh, testing. So you keep the functionality and change the structure. So I'm going to show you in the context of import of export. So it's something that uh, I really need uh, to refactor for several reasons, but first, just to have an idea about um, how, the, how it is implemented now. So as you see there, in this uh, import export uh, package, we have uh, pairs of uh, classes, an import class and an export class. And they have done it in terms of basically the domain. So uh, we import and export the questions, and we import and export the quizzes, and the topics, the users, and the answers, okay? That's the way we have done it, and basically here I import and export all the questions, here I import and export all the answers. So for instance, if I import and export answers, I need to have references to the questions and the quizzes, okay? So this export, in some sense, was implemented to preserve the database in a different format. So, and what we have done, as you see here, is that we export to XML format, okay? So we, in this case of export questions, we have defined tests to verify that everything is okay. And if I run this test, okay, I have just uh, written there a print so that we can see what is printed, okay? Um, so the test just ran and I want to show you basic what is generated here. So I was able to export this and import it again, okay? And I check that uh, is there. So which information I have uh, questions, okay, here. And then I just have the each question here. So for the test is a single one. And I have the information about the question, the image and the options, okay? I'm only considering here two options. And uh, you have this, uh, course type technical, course name, architecture, uh, the, the software, and then I have this key. Why do I need, so the question contact, the title, available, okay, I have more information there, but why do I need the key? Basically, I need this key because I have the ID, which is the unique uh, identifier, but this ID depends on the database. And if I export everything outside the database and I re-import it to the database, it will generate automatic different IDs to the question. So this ID of the question is a good identifier while I do basically do not clean the database and uh, uh, reload all the information to the database. So I need to define a new unique identifier for each question, which is the key Okay, so that, for instance, if when a, 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 a student answers to a question or when a question is used in, in a quiz, I refer, I use this key, this key in order to know which uh, question I'm talking about, I'm referring to, okay? This is important because while it is in the database, I just have a foreign key for the ID, but th this is not going to work now, okay? So, and this brings me to the first problem I want to address. I realize that in my code, this, the generation proof that these keys are unique is very expensive. Where, so every time I create a question, I assign, I need to assign the, the key here. And where do I receive the key? In the question service, basically, I just going to define a new, a, a, a new key. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm just going to see if I don't have a key, I go and I assess all, all the questions in the database to see what is the max question number and I, I, I assign the max question number plus one. This makes a big read lock in my old table every time I do it. And I, I really, I've done J, some JMeter tests and I realized that uh, performance is not good because if several people are trying to, to create the same 
different questions, even from different course institutions, I will have conflicts. So what is the idea? First, I want to have this unique ID, ID key, okay? But I don't need to have it completely unique for all the database, only for each course execution. So, so I reduce the number of conflicts. And the, se the second thing that uh, I want to do that I realize is that probably I can simplify my code because I only need this key when the question is externalized. Because while the question is not externalized, when it's not referred from outside, I don't need this key because the ID of the, the that is in the in the table it's enough. So I'm going to change this idea, and what I'm going to do is that in question, probably when I do a get, so when I have this get key, I can check if the question is not uh, is empty. The key is empty. And if the key is empty, I'm going to generate a unique key. And that is going to be my first refactoring. Because only when I'm basically exporting it, because is when I'm going to invoke this method, this get key, okay, when I'm exporting it, I will need to, to, to do it. Okay? This is the first thing. The, the second thing that um, I want to do is that, look, what I'm generating here, is XML, so, but I could, I would like to generate in different formats. For instance, I would like to, a question, maybe I could generate the question to a Word document, so that someone can read it in a Word document, okay? So, by having different formats, this solution now is the simplest one, but probably I would be nice to refactor this code to a visitor, so that I can play with different visitors of my structure and I can be, have different generation to, to different formats, okay? And the last thing I want to address is what type of information I have in each generation. Because sometimes, when for example, I'm, I'm generating just, for instance, um, uh, a quiz, and sometimes, I, if it is for import and export, the only thing I need to generate in the context of the key, the, the quiz related to the question, is the ID of the question. Why? Because when I import back the quiz, I find in the database which questions I'm uh, referring in the quiz. So I need the key. But in other situations, actually when I generate the quiz, if for this is for a, in, a, in a Word file, when I export the quiz if to a Word file, if for the end user to read the quiz. So I, I don't want to, I, I want to, to generate different type of information. So two different things in this context where I'm going to apply the visitor is that different formats of, of information and different information, so for each type of generation. So I can generate quizzes where I just have the keys for the questions, or I have the, the complete information about the question. So I will address each one of them in a different video. Okay, see you in a while.